people are finding difficulties with moving through uh, the Maidens area, and very many people don't like the traffic lights uh, in the area specifically. Um, lots of other comments about other aspects of the scheme, some supportive, some not supportive. What I would ask you today, if you would, rather than just reiterating that you don't like the traffic lights and you don't like whatever, I'd be really grateful if you could try to focus on what you want to see happening moving forward, because that's what we're trying to do. The message is well understood that very many people do not like the current scheme as it is on the ground. What we've done, therefore, is to go back out with a resident survey to exactly the same area as was surveyed for the original consultation for the scheme, and survey forms were hand-delivered to around 2,000, 2000 uh, residents, uh, uh, houses in the area, uh, to the local businesses, and the responses were already coming back in, and I have to say we've had uh, a very good response rate uh, so far. What we've also done at the same time is made some interim changes. There were some very quick uh, wins that we felt we could implement, such as widening a small section of the Shinfield Road to allow a better right turn filter lane in, into uh, Elm Road at the Sportsman Junction. The, the phasing of the lights has been looked at, that's been looked at extensively, and officers spent a lot of time. <laughs> you, you, excuse me, you, you may not like the phasing of the lights, but a lot of work has gone in to looking at the phasing of the lights. What's also happened is then that we've moved forward from that, looking at what other options are possible as we now move forward uh, into the new year. And there's a board behind me from 1 to 17 summarising all options that have been recommended by members of the public, by businesses and so on, from doing nothing through to completely reverting the scheme back to how it was before and all sorts of variations in between.